Right, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Pro Mods for an ETS2. It's also very similar in ATS as well. So you want to load up your browser of choice. Doesn't have to be Firefox like I'm using. Once you've got it loaded, um, you want to type in promods.net. It will bring you to this page. You'll see Europe, Canada and the ad, uh, Middle East add-on. You want to go to Europe. I will also show you how to install the Middle East add-on as well in this video. Um, you want to go generate def file and click um, a special transport DLC if you have it and map zoom capability. Map zoom capability is if you want to add the Middle East add-on like I did. Um, once you've done, tick both of those boxes, um, only if you have those of course. Um, click generate and then you can click off this page. Um, and then you go to step 2 and then standard download and then you should see files 1 to 8 and you need to install every single one of them um, bear in mind you can only install 2 at a time so I wouldn't advise going for free I don't think it will let you do free but even if it does I wouldn't recommend it because it can make your files go corrupt Also, I do apologise for the speed of this video, it's because of, um, it's my first ever tutorial kind of thing doing, so I'm a bit all over the show with it. But you'll notice now, I'm about to install the second file, um, and then I'm going to click off this page and then you can see both are installing. Obviously yours won't go this quick, I've just sped up the video. But yes, you want to do this with 1 and 2, 3 and 4, 5 and 6 and 7 and 8. Two at a time all the time if I was you, because obviously, like I said, uh, your files might go corrupt. You don't need to worry about the file testing tool or anything. Once these are downloaded, um, you'll see that I will have all the files installed. Uh, partly being because I uh, fast forward time so you don't have to watch me download every single one. But now I've got every single file installed one to eight. Now I'm going to load up my folders and then go to downloads. And then you will see your files uh, from the def one and one to eight, and you need all of them. Um, some of them might not be in order, but I wouldn't worry about that too much. So now you need to copy them, and then you need to copy them to your um, ETS mod folder. So you need to go to documents, and then you'll see ETS2, and then click on mods. And you can see I've got loads of mods here, um, but ignore this, you shouldn't have any. Um, you want to, if you do have some, and they're the old pro mods, like I'm marking up here, you want to actually get rid of them, because they will clash with the new version. So... For the purposes of this vehicle or this video, um, you want to delete all of, or I'm going to delete all of these um, mods, just so it makes it easier for you guys to see what's happening. So now you want to right click, go to 7-zip and then click extract here on uh, mods, pro mods number one file. Make sure it's only on number one as well. Uh, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, seven and eight, you can all just leave. It's just the first 
file that you can see highlighted you want to extract the def file you also don't extract so as you can see you should end up with uh, maps, assets, media, model 3, model 2 and model 1 um, now I'm going to show you how to install the Middle East add-on so you want to find your way back to the main page which I get a bit lost here <laughs> so you want to go to the main page and you should see those Canada, Europe and the Middle East add-on again and you want to click on the Middle East add-on and then you can see generate def file click step 2 because you don't actually have to generate a def file this time and then click on the standard download again and install the one file it will be called download pro mods me uh, your version might be different to this depending on when you're watching it but once that's downloading um, you can click off of the page again like you did previously and you've just got to wait for this to download now now it's downloaded um, you want to copy or you want to go to your downloads file again and you should see the um, pro mods me file in your downloads and once you get there, um, you want to copy or cut the file and you want to put it back into your ETS2 mods folder again. So as you can see, I click copy and then I go to documents and then ETS2 and then mod. And then you want to copy it in there, or paste it in there, should I say. Once you've done this, go to 7-zip again um, by right-clicking and then click Extract here. And then click Yes to All. That's just the README files, which you don't really care about because it's only a document telling you how to go, go from there, basically. Um, it doesn't matter on the order they are in your files, by the way. Um, they could be one, two, and then you've got the Middle East add-on in the middle, and then it goes three, four, and the rest on. It doesn't really matter, basically. Um, the main thing that does matter is what we're about to do next, which is you go to the mod menu in Eurotruck once it's loaded. And once you go to the mod menu, or the mod manager, should I say, um, you have to put them in this specific order. Also, a little side note, as you can see here, um, make sure you opt out of betas, or less Pro Mods requires you to be running a beta, or Truckers MP requires you to be running a beta. As if you use Truckers MP, of course. So once you've got the game loaded, uh, make sure you select your Pro Mods uh, profile. So as you can see, I was on my MP one, but I'm going to switch it to Pro Mods. Go to Mod Manager, and you will see I will have previous mods in my Active Mod section. I will be taking all these out because they're out of date. There you go, now it's a clean slate, so you're ready to activate your mods. So the first one you want to do is assets. And then you want to do media. And then you want to do model 3, model 2 and model 1. And then you want to do your map. and then you want to do your definitions 
then you want to do your pro mods middle east add on assets and then your middle east add on definitions this is only if you have the middle east of course you don't have to have the middle east for pro mods you can just have pro mods by itself so now that's done click confirm and then click continue to game by the way if you don't do them in the order that I've just showed you you will end up with crashes when you're loading like I am now um, you will experience crashes there and missing textures and stuff as well And as you can see, I had no problems loading in, no crashes or anything. Your loading times might differ if you have an SSD in your computer. So as you can see, I've loaded in, no problems. And this is the Pro Mods map. Um, in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see a clump uh, like this city or this area now. That's the Middle East area. So, hopefully, this video has been useful to you guys, and hopefully, um, this has been some service to you. So, happy trucking!